Morning, I thought we'd go back to Cornwall this morning. Uh, the weather today is uh, f the snow, a bit of snow, very cold, it's about two degrees in London, or my bit of London, South London. Had quite a bit of snow last night, but it, most of that sort of melted. But here we are in my studio, trying to keep warm. Uh, right, uh, Cornwall. Rocky Cornwall, North Cornwall, round the Fistral Crantock area. I'm just going to make the rocks and things up in this one. Uh, I've done it several times before, as you know, in acrylic, and they're good fun to do. They're quite straightforward. It's just a matter of getting started, making some marks, and we're using acrylic. I'll show you my palette. There it is. Colours. Oh, that lot. Nice. Nice lot. Uh, you know my colours by now, so I won't go over them. If you're a beginner, please go and look at some of the other videos. Uh, if I'm humble, it's be usually because the, cam the microphone's behind me on the uh, camcorder and I start a sentence quite often then I get into the groove and I forget what I'm going to what I was saying so here we are uh, inch varnish brushes or any brush that you that, that suits takes your fancy I've got a couple of couple of small riggers as well but I won't probably won't use those so I'm going to just put in with a bit of black my black's gone a little bit hard and a bit of red, a bit of cad red and just just make a a start rocks there but have crashing waves sort of a, a, an inlet with some rocks in in here uh, that'll do let's put this one there. Right, that'll do. That's the sort of shape. Then we've got these rocks here. There won't be this colour when I finish. There'll be a lot of colours. But that's basically it with some sand. Yeah, something like that. Put that. Let's give the brush a clean. Right. Let's put in a bit of bit of sand. So a bit of bit of yellow ochre, lump of white, bit of uh, uh, I like burnt umber with this. So I'll put some burnt umber on my palette. Most of my acrylics are from Wilkinson's while they're selling them. I stock up 200 mil tubes. The white is no good for it, hasn't got the covering power of artist quality. But the rest of the colours that I'm using ultramarine, burnt sienna, cadmium red, crimson red, the yellow, the, the, the uh, viridian, uh, sap green, burnt sienna, ultramarine, they're, they're all pretty good colours. They're quite thick. But you've got to remember that uh, what I'm going to find out that when you're using thin paint when it dries it dries darker or at least it appears to be darker so you have to compensate for that but if you paint quickly then the acrylic would should be okay so I'm using good impasto for this I'm going to do a sort of an overcast type of sky. Some of that showing. Some of the, the underpainting. It's a it's an old watercolour. Well not that old. <coughs> that um, I uh, didn't like for a demo, so don't 
throw your failed watercolours away. They live as acrylic supports or oil. Right, that'll do for, for that for a minute. Let that dry off. One bit of advice that I try to take myself is don't try to do a finished painting to start with. Just work, work it up, work the painting up, do bits here and there and adjust it as you go. And being a critic, it dries very quickly, you can crack on with it. So we'll put a, we'll put a grey, so let's have a nice, let's use um, ultramarine and red, cad, cad red, and put a bit of, bit of grey sky in it. As the background to our sky. We're going to add some other, other colours to that. Go over the edge. And we'll see, we want that, the horizon quite dark-ish because it's going to counter change against, against the sea, the crashing waves. More blue in that. Okay, quite liking that. <laughs> but if you get any questions you want to ask, leave them on the on YouTube. Leave them on the video demo page. <clears throat> I'll get back to you. I, I try to answer all the calls. Occasionally, one slips through, but I do try to answer them as soon as possible. Alright, so a little bit of red with some yellow ochre for our sort of some clouds there just to just make that a bit interesting. Some over there. And this is where you can really go mad with a bit of bit of impasto. Then we go back with the dark. Use a bit of a bit of cobalt in that I think. Alright, okay, let's just get that in there. Red. Right, we'll get some more light on the top of that. I've cut this piece of paper in half because it, the, the, obviously the bigger the paper, the longer it takes, the, the bigger the problems. It's a little bit bitty, isn't it? So um, this connects up the dots a little bit better than that. So it's probably a little better. Okay, uh, right, I quite like that. Let's just lighten some of that. Just dragging over, over that. Right, let's do some work on the rocks now. You can always use a knife. A knife is a very good idea, but don't overuse it. A little goes a long way. You can do highlights with it. Now, so a greeny, Oakery colour. I'm mixing a bit of viridian with it. We want um, plenty of a uh, bit of white. And I'm 
Put some light up there because you do get some nice grasses sort of growing. On the top, so I just got to come down there and put a bit of colour. Some greys. Now get some darker. Just mixing a lot of colour in on the brush. I've got lots of colours. Right, okay, we can... Waiting for a big storm so to come down the east coast, I keep hearing. Get some warm I'll go mad with this colour thickening up. That needs to be a bit grey, so let's uh, put some grey on there. No, I don't like that. Right, that'll do for that. Let's get in some nice colours for here. Right, clean the brush, let's put in some water now. Oh, no, let's uh, carry on with the, with the lights on the rocks. Yeah, I'm going to have to change my palette after this because it's going to be such a mess. Back to a grey, dirty grey. Don't forget greys, they're very, very important. Shadow colours. Right, that'll do for a moment. Let's go and do this water. So, on this tiny bit of blue in with the, with the uh, Spray. Crashing over there. Well, okay. Right now we want some grey in there, basically a, a, a bluey grey. Right, 
Maybe more blue in that. The shadow in the, in the under the wave. Put some shadow in in this uh, water here. That's a little bit of a virgin in that, I think. Just get a touch of green, greeny grey. Okay, right, some more fluffy spray on there. Just modelling this sort of shadow in the wave here. Mad here. Right, rocks. Well, a bit of water coming out, coming over the that rock on the left. But that would be in shadow. Some of this would be in shadow here. No, we need to put some shadow, some reflection in uh, in there. Now some I love black in a correct.
Oh, I just showed that a little bit of the That's a rock there, so we'll put that in as a sort of a grey. Just a bit of shadowy colour now for for another little wave. In, uh, Wrong colour there. Hmm. Not sure. Right, well, I don't know. Uh, maybe if we need some more, a bit of ochre in those waves, just a touch, just to reflect more the sky. A little bit of sand. Right, well, I'm going to let that go. I think that's all right. I'll sign it and then I'll put it in a mount and have a look, see, see what it's like. Make sure you keep your brushes very, very clean. Very important, otherwise you'll lose them. Right, let's just find a blue mount here. Got the blue mount. Oh, hell. It's another little impression of the Cornish coast around Newquay, West Pentai, Crantock, Perrinport, <coughs> any old rocks. Completely made up. Uh, I'll bring you round and we'll have a, another closer look at that. By going in thick with this, this impasto, uh, it, the colours stay as bright as I put them on. But if you start thinning them out too much, they do tend to... Uh, lost the clip tend to, to, to go to, to dry in 
and, and they lose their intensity. But anyway, there we are. We've got a, another another painting to add to the collection. Have a go at these things. Use your old watercolours that you don't like on them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. I'll probably do another one in a minute. Bye bye. Whoops. No, let's, let's come out. Show from a distance. That's a song from a distance. Bye-bye.